Toya Johnson is crowned Queen of New Orleans as she was supported by her husband Robert Rushing all the way as she stepped out in $5,000 blinged out designer gowns. It, it was a whole weekend of fashion statement blink and glitz. But before we get right into all of that, hey kings and queens, welcome back to the channel, it's your girl royalty, back with another celebrity relationship gist. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the re MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. So if you're like me, you're probably new to the whole six watt steppers, sidewalk steppers and the whole New Orleans culture. But the six watt steppers is a social aid and pleasure club. In New Orleans, the New Orleans have very rich culture, vibrant, colorful, fashionable steps and moves, y'all. They have it all very rich, dazzling culture that you cannot ignore. Now, it was a big weekend for the Six Watt Steppers as the Social Aid and Pleasure Club hosted a great Gatsby themed ball. And for this year, 2024, the Six Watt Steppers crowned New Orleans businessman, entrepreneur, and restaurateur Larry Morrow as king and name New Orleans native reality star and businesswoman Toya Johnson rushing as queen. Although Miss Toya Johnson rushing was the queen without her personal king, Mr. Robert Rushing, he made sure to be there by her side, standing with her all the way, looking sharp in his own suit. The another new king, Mara, looked sharp, but it was Toya Johnson rushing who stole the show with her glamorous gowns and headpiece dripping rhinestones. Toya Johnson Russian is up to queenly things in the New Orleans. She stepped out in the Mardi Gras city with her husband Robert Red Russian wearing a blinged out crystal culture gown and regal headpiece. Toya wore the glamorous outfit as she was crowned the queen of the 2024 Six Word Steppers Great Gatsby Ball. The event which kicks off a weekend of culture, heritage, local pride was held on January 12th at Mardi Gras Ward. This lasted the whole weekend till Sunday day January the 14th. Toya Johnson made sure to put on a fashion statement for her city as she slayed every step of the way. Literally. Being a native of New Orleans, Toya had no problem putting on for her city this weekend in the most fashionable way possible. Slain in two examples fit for a queen, she sparkled and dazzled with every step she made as she stepped on the street. Toya first outfit set out on a 5,000 over the top silver gown from Abina Dila. The dress featured a fitted and fashionable corset lace bodies with feathered, broad shoulders and a must-have dramatic train. Every inch of Toya's gown was embellished with delicate stones, pearls, sequins and crystals. Complementing the jewel dress was an equally ornate crown and scepter from Atlanta-based black woman designer Ragnar. Toya shared pictures of the royal feet and her husband on an Instagram receiving more than 250,000 likes and 4,700 comments. Boy, they look dashing. They look like they were about to get married again. So yeah, Johnson Rochin's second outfit continued her dazzling out energy with a fun jumpsuit from black woman bridal designer essay as Zenable. the tailored jumpsuit featured a sheer illusion deep v neckline and all over skin tone mesh that perfectly matched toya johnson's melanin shade on top of the brown nude fabric were light pink blue and white flowers in sequins and lace with some fringe detailing and reginald carter toya johnson russian's daughter was not left out like mother like daughter reginald carter is had her own flapper fashion moment she also slayed as a member of her mother's royal court she too understood the assignment she ate and left no crumbs while matching other members of the court Regina dazzled in a satin champagne gown with feathers alluring ruching and a high split she accessorized her look with a feathered headband a natural tone for stole and long satin gloves more and more, Regina Carter continues to look like her queen mother mom, Toya Johnson Russian. It was a colorful, vibrant event, especially with the tram sidewalk steppers.
taking over the streets Taya Johnson being the queen majestically walked down the street in so much royalty especially in her alluring gown I bet if you were in New Orleans you did not miss this event it looked so colorful there were a lot of people there as you can see every event every culture displayed looked so beautiful the six watt stepper second line was so nice as well congratulations to the new king larry morrow and congratulations to the new queen quintoya johnson rushing shout out to the nola culture and shout out to the tram steppers you guys what are your thoughts on toya johnson being the new nolo queen and also her beautiful outfit during the whole event share your thoughts in the comment section what y'all think about the nolo culture and also robert russian standing 10 toes with his queen you guys share your thoughts in the comment section as always thank you so much for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay <laughs> bye bye